welcome back guys to another video on this channel today we're going to be talking about something which i get asked a lot especially by people who don't watch f1 and it's a very simple question is formula one rigged now the short answer is yes it is rigged but you have to let me explain there are many levels to the word rigged and it's not so simple as well the sport is fixed we know who's gonna win from the start of the race because if anything it's not like that we don't know who's going to win from the start of the race but f1 is very different to other sports such as basketball football mma in which there is much more of an emphasis on the human factor f1 places a very high emphasis on the engineering of a car it is in fact a team sport a lot of people think formula one is an individual sport because they see one drive on the top step of the podium but really and truly it is a team sport many teams have about a thousand people in their factories working on the car for years and years research and development it is a very big sport that comprises of a lot of people now if you were to compare this to something like mixed martial arts or like in the ufc now conor mcgregor whether he wins or loses a fight it is dependent on his team obviously he needs great trainers he needs great nutritionists but it's him at the end of the day he's the one pulling his punches he's the one you know deciding where he needs to go into the octagon how he needs to move what decisions what kicks what punches to throw and if nothing else if he didn't have any of his trainers if he didn't have his nutritionist he could still go out there and compete maybe not to the level that he would at his best but he would be able to go there and compete whereas in formula one taking something like the w11 for example the fastest car in f1 history taking that car for an example whether it was a cold day a hot day whether it was raining or not whether you were feeling sick or not if you press the gas pedal of the w11 at 100 percent and you pressed the same gas pedal of the Williams at 100%, the W11 would simply go faster. It doesn't matter the conditions, it doesn't matter any of this. So before they even start the race, some teams have an inherent disadvantage. It's essentially, in, to put it in football terms, it's essentially like Real Madrid playing against Atletico Madrid, except Atletico Madrid starts off with nine men compared to Real Madrid's 11 men. Yes, it's not now impossible for Atletico Madrid to win, but it's very difficult and it's gonna take some weird miracle for them to win. And this is probably not even a good example because the possibility of Atletico Madrid winning is a lot higher than a Williams being a W11 and you can see this in what team wins the constructors and also wins the drivers. Mercedes dominated the drivers championship from 2014 onwards but they also dominated the constructors championship and it is very rare you'll see a championship in which the winning driver is not also the winning constructor and I know that in 2021 Max Verstappen won the championship but Mercedes won the Constructors' Championship. But if you look at the season, the Red Bull was faster. It's just that Checo had a bad season and Bottas didn't, and that was the separating factor. And anyone that wants to fight me on the fact that the Red Bull in 2021 was faster than the Mercedes in 2021, I am very... I welcome you in the comment section below. And you can tell me exactly how Max was slower whilst doing burnouts in Austria. I'd say the next argument for F1 being rigged that I get a lot is that the same guy wins all the time. Before it was Schumacher, then it was Vettel, then it was Hamilton, and now it's gonna be Max Verstappen. Now to this, I guess it goes back to the same argument. You can't beat the physics. You know, Adrian Newey creating those dynamite cars for Sebastian Vettel and for Max Verstappen now. Lewis Hamilton in the turbo hybrid era having some of the most dominant cars to ever see a formula one track to date schumacher having cars that are just so mind-blowingly fast it's unparalleled but when has that been different in any other sport messi dominating the ballon d'or john jones dominating the heavyweight division these people 
are seen as great in their sport and they dominate their sport. Look at the Premier League, the so-called hardest league in football. Manchester City has won five out of the last six seasons in the Premier League. Now, if that isn't domination, then you tell me what is. But you wouldn't say that the Premier League is rigged because of it. You would just say that one team is effectively dominating. Now, when I usually say this, people would usually say, well, in those scenarios, player agency comes into play. And in Formula One, because of what we talked about earlier about cars being inherently faster than other cars and other drivers not being able to do anything about it due to uh, physics, it is inherently unfair. And so the guy with the fastest car is essentially rigged to win. And to be honest, you're not completely wrong. Like you, you do have a solid point. In F1, you'll see many diehard F1 fans, whenever they get mad that their favorite driver isn't winning, they'll say to the driver that is winning, it's just the car. Because they know that there is a massive disadvantage to not having the fastest car on the grid. And it is in fact very hard to know who is actually the best driver on the grid and who is and who just has a leg up because of their car. If Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso all had the fastest car in 2023, what would the championship look like? It wouldn't be a clean sweep domination like it was this year. How close would it be? Would Alonso get his third title? Would Hamilton get his eighth title? Would Verstappen show them both up and show them that the young guy is now taken over? We don't know and nobody can conclusively say because they don't have the same level car. At best, we'll get seasons that are extremely close like 2021 but even then the development battle will see that some races it means that the mercedes faster some races the red bulls faster and some races it's a toss-up but it's never equal playing field it's never man against man like it is in football like it is in basketball like it is in these other sports that people say are not rigged now the next thing is big controversies controversy and formula one really do go hand in hand you can't have a good formula one season without a little bit of controversy flexi wings das you name it it's been there team principles going out everyone needs a little bit of controversy to have a good season it plays into the story the narrative is not just about what happens on track it's about what happens off track as well but when you have massive controversies that clearly go against the rules of the sport such as singapore 2008 and abu dhabi 2021 it makes the sport look really bad it makes it look like they are rigged especially when there are a lot of claims that the regulation change in 21 was specifically made to dethrone Mercedes and, and punish their low rake design that had benefited them for so many years. Ultimately, controversy is inevitable. You can't get to the highest level of sport without a little bit of controversy. Even in these other sports where it's so-called better, you have multiple allegations of people taking steroids, multiple allegations of cheating, financial fair play misconduct, and so on and so forth. There is controversy everywhere you go. But I think about what makes those things different than other sports is that these things play a part in the actual winning of the sport directly. Things like financial fair play, they almost kind of go on in the background. But Abu Dhabi 21 is on the pitch. That is essentially like the referee giving a penalty for something that didn't happen in the box. It's absurd. And you can argue financial fair play if you want, but when something happens on the pitch or on the track in this instance, like Singapore 2008, where someone crashes out on purpose so that their teammate can win the race, there is a real argument to be made about fixing an F1. Now, I know those instances were dealt with, but to me and many other people, they really and truly felt like they were swept under the rug so that they don't bring the FIA and Formula One a bad reputation and a bad name. Think about how quickly the FIA disposed of Michael Massey and put him into the back rooms of the sport as soon as the human error statement came out. Maybe there is a little bit of geriatric rigging in F1. Not so much as it's rigged, more like it's an unfair advantage to where the opponent's team just can't get an upset. I'm thinking of Leicester in 2016 when they won the title 
you know you won't see Haas pull a blinder and perform way better than Mercedes to win the championship or perform way better than Red Bull to win the championship it just won't happen Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman in the first fight Kamaru Usman was dominating Leon Edwards he absolutely mauled him Leon Edwards looked like, looked like a defeated person but all of a sudden in the last round Leon Edwards pulled it out of the fight with a head kick that knocked out Kamaru Usman and gave him the world championship these things are just not possible in Formula 1 because by the midpoint of the season we know exactly who the fastest car is and who the fastest driver in that car is and so we know who's going to win the title and so yeah, F1 is rigged in the sense that we know exactly who's going to win the races. We know exactly if all things being normal, we know that Max Verstappen is going to be world champion before any before any tyres have been changed, before any driver transfer drama. We know what car is going to be the fastest. We know who's going to be the heavy favourites. And so yeah, it is kind of rigged. Rigged in a different way than football's rigged because of physics we can't help it though this sport is a team sport it's a massive sport and it's more of a scientific sport than people will realize formula one depends heavily on predictable physics and you can't suddenly wake up one day and just decide your car is going to be better yes you can make improvements but those improvements take time because innovation and development take time you can't go on a winning streak and just get momentum because your team is in the zone you need substantial real world improvements that can be quantified and without talking about things like the budget differences between teams the staff difference between teams and the experiences and the engines and you know the suppliers and all that extra stuff Yes, there is a level of rigging to F1, but we still love F1. F1 has delivered some unexpected moments because even though we know exactly what's going to happen, that makes it even better when something crazy does happen. George Russell getting P2 in Spa qualifying in 2021. Lewis Hamilton passing Glock on the penultimate corner to secure the championship. Michael Schumacher becoming the first driver to get seven world championships and Fernando Alonso a year later taking the fight to him and winning these things are not predictable we don't see them coming and so unlike other sports in which they can keep an eye on they can know that something crazy might happen in Formula One we know something crazy probably won't happen and that makes it even more special when it does it makes it so that that championship that we've been waiting five years to see, when we do get it, it's a battle for the ages. Formula One is rigged, but it's rigged in the best way possible.